And we are now joined by uh, one of our contributors for today's day. This is uh, Wayne Thompson from Chloropus Fitness and also his partner now for a couple of projects they have underway, uh, Dave DeCarry from DeCarry Tone and Fit. Great to have you here on the show. Thank, Thank you. Things Thank have been you. good? Very Excellent. good. Things Excellent. have been busy, eh? Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. so lots of things that have been on the go. What has the partnership been like for the two of you coming from both uh, your own individual kind of businesses and working together? Well, it's uh, basically uh, everybody's trying to look to get fit uh, and find time to do it. So. Dave works in the West End, I work in the East End, so we kind of make references for each other to go that way. But also coming up with ideas of how, you know, we can kind of standardize maybe some boot camps in that aspect. So, so there's so many that are different, right? And you've got ones that are kind of yell, yell, yell. You have yes. others that are kind of more based on, you know, physique and toning and core conditioning and functional training. So it's really, you have to kind of shop through as to what you're looking for. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you have basically have to do, you have to take a bit from everything. Mm -hmm. Anything from your CrossFit to, you know, your marathon running and comply, all of them together to make it work for you. You like it? Yes. A lot of things we incorporate too is like our background as a martial artist is we try and you know, put that into the boot camps too so it offers a good variety. We're going to get to some of that martial Absolutely. arts stuff uh, in a second. <laughs> second. What are we looking at there right now? So uh, right now just a very quick uh, deal with um, how we've taken some traditional exercises and combined them. Okay. So if, say for a whole body workout um, like a Turkish getup. Great for core, usually done with a weight, but we're going to do it in a fitness aspect today. All right, I, I want to see how this is done, because <laughs> I, right, I know so, he's get up. So Dave's going to end up lying down on the ground. So a traditional Turkish getup, you would have a weight in one hand. Generally, you would uh, load the leg, so you're going to bend the same leg that the hand is up. Good. Dave's going to push his arm up as if he has a weight in it. Good. Then he's going to use his bent leg and his arm to brace himself to slide his leg underneath. Good. Keeping the weight above his head, then he would stand up. Good, and that would be your yeah. Turkish getup. It's an incredibly tough. This is almost—it's a full body, full body feeling when you're doing one of these Turkish getups. Exactly, okay. especially if you add the weight to it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> adding the weight's completely different. Yeah. So then, from there, what we're going to end up doing, Dave, is going to end up going into a push-up position. Okay, and he's going to push out four simple push-ups, nice okay. and easy. One. He's a very strong man. Yes, like he is. He's just kind of like really okay. Let's do this. Good, perfect. Good. Then from there, he's going to go into what we call a thruster. Okay, so he's going to drive both knees in. Good, and kick both knees out, trying to keep his hips level, working on the conditioning with core balance as well, too. So stability. he doesn't want this to rise up too much because then he's not getting the yeah. core and in there, right? Yeah, and if, if, if your ability is not at that level, you can walk your feet in, good, and walk mm -hmm. your feet out. That right there is the killer part of doing the burpee, yes, right? It's it that is. aspect, it's that kick in and having to go up afterwards. Exactly. I like, I like the, uh, the alternative way of doing it. Good. So now if you're a little bit more advanced, what Dave's going to do is bring both feet in, he's going to keep them together, and he's going to hop out on an angle. So he changes the angle of the workout. Obliques. Obliques. Yeah. Now, if he's a little bit more advanced, he's going to add a scissors doing the you exact tired? same yeah, deal. No, Dave hasn't broke his weight yet. <laughs> oh, cool. So he brings it in, kicks it out. Good. So it's almost like doing a plank, but you're adding a little bit more rotation. Perfect. Then from there, Dave's going to go into a side view. So <laughs> I don't know if Dave's going to no be problem. happy with me. <laughs> this is Excellent. great. So there's three ways to do this. Basically, you want to angle your body on a 45 degree angle. Well, the basic way, if you're um, not as strong yet, you're going to just lift a single leg, nice and simple, and lift up at the same time, using your hand to bridge. Okay? So you're resting on the, on the side? You're resting on, on the, the glute, not nest technically on the hip because of the IT band. Okay? So from there, if Dave's a little bit more advanced, he's going to bring both knees in. Good, at the same time. Now Dave's a little bit more advanced, so he's going to keep his legs straight, and he's going to make sure that his elbow doesn't touch the ground, and he's going to push up into his side V-sit. Oh gosh. Good. Now, he has to do the other side. Do I? Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> now, to get to the other side, okay, the key deal is if you have a bad back, I like to keep it continuous. So as he comes in, you're going to bring your legs in, Dave. Good. You're going to roll towards me. Good. And then kick out. Okay. So when he goes to do the other side, he rolls, kicks in, kicks out. If he's a little bit more advanced like he is, he's going to do what we call a banana sit. So basically, he's going to keep his shoulders and his feet off the ground, and he's going to roll over. Good. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then roll over again. Good, try not to use his hands. So then over the course of these boot camps that you're doing, you're going to have someone who's going to literally just kind of be pushing up on one, and then the range can go all the way to someone who's literally going from side to side. Correct. So yeah. now, what's the fun part is, yeah. I'm not sure he's happy about this, but he's going to put it all together for us. Okay, let's okay. see this. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Dave's going to be so on the ground. Okay, right. Turkish get up. Into the push up with the legs, right. down into the side. Okay, So ready, we're going to we go. do... One Turkish get-up, four push-ups, four thrusters, four side V-sits each side. Great, and then I have to throw a commercial break, so right. it'll be perfect Ready? timing. Dave Three, will love this. Two, one, and we so, go up. Up. He gets up. 
Good. Four push-ups. Good. One, two, three, four. Four thrusters. Good. Perfect. Automatically go into side V-sits for me. Good. And go. One, two, three, four. Roll over to the other side. Good. And go. One, two, three, there's a lot of people Four. at home going, I just finished my workout and it <laughs> wasn't killing like that. Yeah. So uh, a lot of fun, some great different ideas. We're in the next segment too, we're going to do some of the work that you guys are doing with uh, MMA and kind of doing that type of training as well.